Hi everyone, it's Miss Atwood here, and I have two very special friends that are going to show us around today. My name is Peyton Martin, and I've been in 4-H for three years. Awesome. My name is Lincoln Martin, and I've been in 4-H for three years. Now I have a question. What happens in a sugar shack like this? We cook sap to make maple syrup. Oh, do you guys like maple syrup? Yes. Yeah, Miss Atwood loves it too. So uh, when you guys are getting ready to make maple syrup, what would be the first thing that we would do? Can we do it in here? No. Where would we have to go? In the woods to tap trees. What kind of trees do we want? We tap maple trees. Maple trees, awesome. Okay, so pretend that we're outside and we are looking for a maple tree and we found one. What would we do first? I see you have some tools over here. Let's take a look at these tools. So first we um, drill all into the tree, and then we put a we hook up a tube with a tap, which mm. we use the tool that my dad has. Awesome. It so uses it to tighten it, so it like glues it on. It like holds it on, so it doesn't fall off. Awesome. So this is great. Oh, look at this. This is we perfect. We put it into the tree and then we hook it up to the bucket and the sack goes into the bucket. Awesome. So what what is this right here? This is a metal tap that is into a maple tree. Awesome. So the what? taps can be metal or they could be what? Metal or plastic. Or plastic. Well, I was noticing up here there is a metal bucket that has a lid on it. Why would they use a bucket with a lid? So to get like the like bugs out of it in the water and yeah because you don't want bugs in there right or like extra water yeah from rain and snow right what type of year do you usually tap trees we do it around january or february yeah so what during the days it gets warmer right and cool at night right that's what we want sometimes it's a little bit different each year right so after you collect the sap in those buckets, you did tell me that they go into this big bin up here is where all the sap is, right? Yes. Can I just drink that sap? No. No, but if I were to take a little bit of it, could I? Yes. Yeah, and it would taste a little bit sugary, right? Yeah, like so, sugar water. Yeah, like sugar water, right? So since the trees um, give us the sap and now the sap is up here in this bucket, what happens next? How do I get to maple sugar, maple syrup? So we put it up there in a big tub, and it comes down from there into this tube in here, which is set up right here. Yep. And then this is a flow. It says how much sap is how much sap is in it. Good job. Huh? So lots of sap. Then it goes in here and it cooks. And then once it's turning into maple syrup, it goes into, it goes into heel syrup. And then, mm. and then when you're actually ready, it comes out heel. And then we have to use these okay. finishing pans. This, okay. one, that fan, that. So there's a couple different ones? Yes. And we heat um, yeah. out propane. Take propane and then we heat it by fire and wood. Oh, so this one over here is the fire and wood? Yeah. You awesome. You open this up and then you put the wood in. So they have the wood in here. Every awesome. Every seven minutes we have to add wood. Every seven minutes? Oh, wow. This is pretty intense, huh? You got lots of work to do. And then when it's into this one, it cooks more and you use protein or propane, right? Yes. Awesome. And then from here, is it time to eat then? We have to filter it and then bottle it. Oh, can you show me a little bit about the filters? And then you put take this. this filter in the cheesecloth and we put it in there. And then we put it here and then we pour the maple syrup in there to filter it. Why, why are you and filtering it? it? So then it stays and it doesn't have any bacteria in it. Yeah, gotta get rid of that. And if there was any bugs or leaves or anything. Yeah, so this is earlier in the year. Oil like in, in February. In okay. And this is around March. And then it gets darker in April. Oh, so it changes colors depending on what time of year it is, huh? So I didn't know that there's different grades, right? So they grade it. 
So this is awesome. Is this where you can look to see the different colors? Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Now, how long have you guys been making maple syrup? For 40 years. Yeah. So you guys have been around for 40 years? No. Oh. My dad has. Oh. So grandma and grandpa. Awesome. So I was looking at this awesome. That picture. Yeah, I was looking at this awesome billboard over here. Look at who's in that picture right there. My dad and my grandma. Awesome. This is really, really, really cool. Do you know what these are? Those are a bunch Different of caps, caps that, they, that they've made over the years. Yeah, so this is really cool. What did they start off with? Wooden taps. Wooden taps. And what do they use now? They use plastic or metal. Plastic and metal. Awesome. So this changed a little bit, huh? do we have in here? We have ducks. Oh my goodness, I hear them, they're talking to us. <laughs> what kind of ducks are they? So the black ones are Cayuga ducks. <laughs> and then the tan colored ones are Campbell ducks. And then the two brown ones with a little bit of blue on their feathers are Rowan ducks. Awesome, so what do you normally do with these? We, um, we use them as pets. We have them as pets? And we show them. them. And we get eggs out of them and we sell them. Awesome. So duck eggs are bigger than chicken eggs, right? Yes. yes. Yeah. This is awesome. So we can collect the eggs in this box. So this is a nesting box? Yes. Oh, wow. Look at that. Ooh. Is that your egg? No. Oh, I guess you have to clean it, huh? Yeah. Let me help you out with this. How many eggs do you have? We have more up there, too. We have about, we get about six to seven eggs a day because we have seven ducks. Seven ducks. That is awesome. So whose job is it to come up and collect the eggs? We all do it once in a while. Yeah. We take turns doing it. You take turns? What do you do with those eggs now since you collected them? What would you do next? Then we would clean them and we put them in our their cartons and then when they're ready to be eaten we clean them. Oh, awesome. Oh look, it's right in there. <laughs> I like it. Lots of it. Why are they talking so much? Because they want to come out of them. Oh. Do they just run around wherever they want? Yes. Um, kind of like Lincoln? Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Do you think that we could let them out? I think they're exciting. Oh, there they go. Oh, look at the coloring. They're beautiful. What do they like to eat in the yard, you think? They love grass. They love grass. I can see that. Look at them. They're really excited for grass. That's awesome. Well, thank you for inviting us in and we hope to be seeing you again.